everyone, Ellie Wicks and James Vandermar here to preview the 2017 Triple M Bendigo Cup. This one is happening on Friday night and is worth a nice $67,000, James. Mm, interesting race, Ellie. <laughs> it's a sprint race, 425, the shortest of the country cups. And look, uh, that obviously means there's going to be a stack of early speed. And, and this race fits that description uh, very, very well. I think it's going to be an interesting race. The pace will be on. And it's going to be pretty tough to find the winner. All right, well, let's have a look at the all-important box draw. In box one, Aussie Infrared. In two, it's Shona Thompson's Aston Bolero. And in three, Aston DB. In four, Strike Alight. In five, Tigalong Cruise. In box six, Black Mumbo. In box seven, the fastest qualifier, Zinzan Brook. And in box eight, Kuta Mayhem. And the two reserves, Jezelenko and Landmark. James, this is very interesting because four of these winners jump from box seven in the heats. Yeah. Can we take anything from that? Well, I think we have to, don't we? I mean, the, the stats are there and, and Aussie Infrared with four of those winning. I, I just thought it was those on the outside that were potentially working around when the trouble was happening on the rails. Those may have been getting squeezed out. Aussie Infrared showed really good speed from box seven, went 23.95. Copped a little bit of a drag when he was whipping around the field, but he's only had the one run back now from a break, so it's just a question mark as to where he is in his campaign. Aston Bolero, well, he's looking to, to vend his title from last year, of course. He's going for back-to-back -back wins. He won in 23.65. It was a tradesman-like win, I felt. Moving along, strike a lot. This was an enormous effort, Ali. This Greyhound raced in a Winter Cup heat in Brisbane late Thursday night, came back to Melbourne, Made the journey to Bendigo, won a Bendigo Cup heat, and Zinzan Brook, as you said, fastest qualifier, was just simply outstanding. So they're the four winners from box seven, and Zinzan Brook drawing seven in the final, I think, will really suit. All right, what about the four remaining in the field? Yeah, the four remaining, of course, Aston DB. Look, he was, I feel, I don't want to say lucky to get through because he makes his own luck, but he pushed through a very, very small gap. He was very impressive from box six, went uh, 23.64. Tigalong Cruise gets wide but really mowed it late, winning in 23.92. Uh, then we move to Black Mumbo. I reckon he lost about four lengths in the run going through the first corner. He just copped a little bit of a bump. He ended up scoring in 23.81. And I know plenty of Greyhound people are saying that this Greyhound is the most informed Greyhound in Australia. So that's a big rap going in. Kuda Mayhem, well, he surprised me. Young Greyhound, I think it's only about start 13 in the final. Uh, a greyhound under 20 starts normally doesn't compete in a race like this, but uh, he well and truly proved himself last week. All right, well, we're going to talk selections now, but James, you have been a busy man. I've seen you featuring on the Tab app, yep. and apparently you've backed quite a few winners of late. Yeah, I think this weekend just gone, it was around 12 out of 24, and then uh, the Meadows last week, we snuck the eight uh, winners home, the last eight of the meeting. So Okay, you do know look, the pressure is now uh, on then for these selections. <laughs> I'm under that much pressure, I, I'm struggling to cope, but I'll continue <laughs> on. I'm going seven to win the Bendigo Cup. My selection, seven, eight, two, and six. Just thought he was perfectly drawn. He's probably going to be crossed by Kuda Mayhem in the early part, but if Kuda Mayhem on his outside can go to the rail, I feel Zinzan Brook will accelerate around the field. His second 50 metres is the best 50 metres of his race. So I'm going seven Zinzan Brook to win the Bendigo Cup from eight Kuda Mayhem. I'm banking on these two getting over at the start. For third, I've gone to Aston Bolero. He just found a way to win last week. He's... He's in the twilight of his career, but he's still racing so very well, so I think he sort of has to be included. And then number six, Black Mumbo. He would have been better drawn near the fence. It's a tough assignment against what is a, a pure sprint field. OK. Now, Tab might put a little bit extra in our kitty because you are doing so well. Yeah. But for now, GRV have given us $20 <laughs> to bet with. So what is your $20 suggested yeah, bet? Yeah, look, I'm going to go uh, just simply 20 the wins in Zanbrook. I think it's such a raffle race in the sense that if they don't get over, they're going to be in trouble and therefore it's very hard to work out who's going to be the second, thirds and fourth. But look, if you were playing an exotic, maybe a Cornella with numbers seven and eight, just banking on the fact that they'll get around at the start, as we saw with the heats, of course, uh, mm -hmm. four of the winners coming from box seven. All right, well, Zin Zanbrook might be the one to beat, you reckon? Oh, look, I think so. The Brook Ennis Polish, 6.51, 23.40. I think it was the Ballarat Cup last year we were having a chat about him and his pace mid-race was as good as Fernando Bale. So it's taken him probably a little bit to get to where he is now, but I feel his Meadows form of late, he just looks a bit stronger. I think he's all class. And if he doesn't win the Bendigo Cup, he'll be winning a, a nice group race soon. Good to hear. All right, well, it's going to be a great night of greyhound racing on Friday night out at Bendigo. For all the best form guides, you can head online to grv.org.au.